What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you what in my opinion is the fastest grind in obtaining radio layering cultures these prophecy offerings which are needed in the tens to trade with Vance for the concentrated versions those are used to activate certain verses for you to obtain the Mercury Vex themed weapons. Now there are other offerings you need for some verses but at the moment this one seems to be the most popular. Verse 1 you need 1 concentrated radio layer and culture meaning you need to farm 10 radio layer and cultures. Verse 4 which was the second verse I chose you needed 3 concentrated radio layer and cultures meaning you have to farm 30 radio layer and cultures. Now it states you get these from public events but you actually get them from other places too. But before we go any further into the video guys, if you'd like to win some exclusive loot in the form of emblems and sparrow codes, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. Ok so the fastest way I have found in which you can farm these are as follows. You want to head to the EDZ and spawn into Trust Land. Here within the Stein area numerous chests spawn along with a public event. What I was doing was I was roughly getting about 10 in little over 10 minutes and to do this I was finding a chest within the Stein area, picking it up then quickly fast travelling back to this same area, simply running to that chest again and grabbing it again. Just like you used to do back in the day in Destiny 1 we used to grab a chest, jump on your sparrow, drive out the area, drive back into the area, grab that chest again. Now the only reason I say is to fast travel back to the same area is because it takes you to a new server most of the time. Normally if there's people in the area which you've just grabbed that first chest from, if you jumped on your sparrow and drove out the area and drove back in, that chest normally would have gone. When you fast travel back to the same area, it seems as though more times than not the chest is always there for a second time. Now I did this numerous times and received two of the items needed from two chests. Also when the public event lands, simply do it as fast as you possibly can when you have completed it. Simply fast travel back to the same area again. You will then spawn into a different server where 90% of the time the public event will still be going, meaning you can complete it again and grab the chest again. And this actually works with any public event on any planet, same with chests, it's just in my opinion, so many chests spawn in this built up area within Trossaland, it'll be hard to find another spot that's this good. That's not saying there isn't one out there, I'm just saying it's going to be hard to find one. You can also keep an eye out on other public events spawning on the EDZ, quickly fast travel to them, do them as fast as possible and if you are fast enough simply fast travel back to that same public event area and hopefully you'll be able to do a gain. Like I said doubling up on your chances of grabbing these chests. Now these are all great ways of getting chests fast to maximise your chances of getting these as fast as possible. Also I have noticed as well the VIP enemies that spawn in which once you kill them they drop a chest they also drop these radio layering cultures. So there are definitely a few ways you can grind them all of which spawn into the trust lands on the EDZ. You need 30 for verse 4. No doubt you will need even more for other verses in the future. So doing this chest farm on the EDZ will come in super super handy. So do keep it in mind. But yeah guys I hope this helps you out. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people I will see you on that next one.